Hi, I'm Doug Rawson, founder and CEO of Base Builders. In this video, we're going to talk about one of your KPIs, or Key Performance Indicators, known as the Net Multiplier. This is a powerful KPI. Once you understand its implications, you're going to be wondering why you haven't been using it for years to know exactly how your projects are performing. Okay, let's dive into some numbers here. First of all, this key performance indicator has a rule of thumb. And I was taught this when I had a young engineering firm, and that is 3.0. The rule of thumb is you need to bill your employees out at three times what you pay them. And you got to bill yourself out at that as well. So that's our target. We want to be at a three. And as we go into this, I'm going to explain to you why three is the magic number. So, let's look at what the calculation is to get to your net multiplier. Number one, you're going to take your net revenue, then you're going to divide it by your direct labor. Which means you can do this on a project by project basis, or you can do it, let's say, for what happened during the month or what happened during the year for your firm overall. Look at what your net revenues are and divide your direct labor in. This is really powerful though when you apply it on a project by project basis. So here's an example. If you do a million dollars in billings and you divide that by $300,000, you end up at a 3.3 net multiplier. Not too bad. Overhead factor. Going to play into this. We have covered the overhead factor in another video, but here's an example. We've got $300,000 of labor times one plus your overhead factor, and we're using the overhead factor of 1.65, which is approximately the average of firms across the United States. That means we have $795,000 of cost allocated to this job for labor and overhead. So now we take the million dollars, we subtract the 795, and that gives us $205,000 of profit. That's a 20.5% profit. That's not too shabby. That's why we need to be at a 3.0 or higher. If you look up there next to the uh, $300,000 in the calculation, you see that we have 1 plus 1.65. Your overhead factor is 1.65, plus you got to cover your direct labor, which is 1. That gives you 2.65. Well, we ought to have room for profit. So if your net multiplier was 2.65, you would only break even and not have a profit. That's where the rule of thumb comes in. Let's get up to a 3.0. All right. Now you want to compare and evaluate. You want to track your net pro or your net multiplier for each project and then compare multipliers. And you're going to do this by different segments. Maybe you're going to compare project types or client type or funding sources. So use this net multiplier and compare across all your tracking segments so you can identify your best projects. Now, if you learned something in this video, I'm very excited for you. And I would love it if you would do me a big favor and share this with your colleagues and associates. We want to help as many people and as many firms understand the business of their business so they can reach new heights of success and profitability.